What's up everybody out there in the Frontline Universe? I'm Chris and welcome back to another comic book review. And in this review, we're going to be talking about The Flash, issue number three. And as I'm showing you guys some of the really cool artwork inside the book, I do have to be that oh so broken wet record when I say, spoiler alert, there will be spoilers, we will be going through this book, we will be talking about it, I will be sharing my thoughts on things I liked, things I didn't like, if there were things I liked and, and or things I didn't like, uh, the story, where things are going right now, and if you haven't read issue number three of The Flash yet, you might want to take this video, pause it, put it in your watch later file, and then come back after, well, watch later list, I should say, and then come back after you've read issue number three of The Flash, and then let's see if we agree or disagree. However, as I always say, I do, however, do a an overview, as they say, before I close out the video, or before I give that final warning, before we get into Spoilerville, and, um, The Flash Issue 3, I enjoyed this issue, it was pretty straightforward, um, Gee, without giving too many spoilers away, we do get to see Godspeed finally for the last page. Flash is dealing with Central City now filled with new speedsters. We find out that Star Labs actually gets involved to help out the Flash and to help people who are now somehow connected to the Speed Force. And Flash himself, knowing that it's kind of his fault because he's the lightning rod to this whole storm, takes responsibility and decides that he is going to train all of these speed speedsters just like he, he trained or is training August. We get to see August a bit in the beginning of the book, then we see him again at the end. Really not too much in between. We get to see Wally for a bit, New 52 Wally. Uh, we get to see him using his abilities a little bit. It was a really great read. Uh, the, the artwork is the way it's always been. If you've liked it since issue one, you're gonna still like it now. If you didn't like it from issue one, you won't like it now. Me personally, I'm okay with it. Would I rather the original team from way back when the New 52 Flash started? Francis Manipal was on the book? Absolutely. Love to see Francis Manipal back on uh, Flash. Unfortunately, we're not getting Francis Manipal. But this artwork isn't bad either. Out of five stars, I would say this book was a good three and a half to four stars. Story progressed a bit. It was kind of predictable where the story was going. Artwork was good as well. Um... Again, I feel myself saying, let's get the story moving along. Because as, as DC mentioned, they're going to be focusing on all of these speedsters for a time before we move on. And obviously this first story arc or two is going to involve people from that central city that were struck by the lightning of the speed force storm. So not saying, okay, let's move this, this plot along so we can get to the next plot. But at the same time, I don't want it to move at a snail's pace. Ironically, it's a flash book. And then we get stuck in this for the next two years until the big event, the next big event that's going to happen with DC. So hopefully we'll get through this at an average pace. This way we can move forward and see where else the Flash is going to travel before we get into the big next big event. We've got two years. Figure 24 issues a year because the Flash has doubled up. It's 48 issues before we actually get... So basically we're going to get another almost 52 issues before we get into whatever the next event is. Unless they wait until issue 52s, which wouldn't take much longer after that. Anyway, I'm, I'm overthinking this and I'm going out off topic. So, honestly, if you've been enjoying The Flash, you're going to continue to enjoy it now. If you haven't been enjoying The Flash, this is going to probably be the point where you're like, hmm, do I want to keep it or not? Me, personally, I'm enjoying it. I like the artwork. The story is very interesting. And I definitely want to see this through, unlike... Uh, the previous volume of Flash where literally I got so tired of Zoom, which we do get that reference of Zoom in here. Um, I just, I fell out of the book because of Zoom and then the story after it just killed it all together for me. This time around, I'm more interested. That's your non-spoiler, four minute long, uh, abbreviated overview. We're going into Spoilerville now, so everybody who doesn't want to get on the bus to Spoilerville, now's your time to pause the video come back later. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts though. So if you're not reading Flash and you want to hear what's going on in Flash, feel free to comment after hearing things. But if you are reading Flash, I'd love to hear what you thought about it. But if you haven't read it yet, come back after you've read it. Don't let me spoil the book for you. Comics aren't fun when you have somebody tell you what happened in the book. And I am going to leave certain things out anyway. So it's not like I'm giving you guys the full walkthrough. So the book opens up with Wally and August actually, um, 
we know that a lot of people were struck in Central City by the lightning. Well, some kids are taking advantage of having the super speed now and are robbing people. So August and Flash end up arresting or catching these kids. They get arrested. They're getting transferred to, I believe, Iron Heights, which then will probably send them to Star Labs. That's where we get the scene with August and Flash talking about Zoom. Uh, August talking about Black Hole, who he believes they're behind it. I don't believe it so much. But it's a possibility. But at the same time, I'm starting to question it a bit. So um, August wants to eliminate Black Hole. He wants to find a way to catch them, stop them, and help the people of Central City. And he also feels bad for, like I said, for Flash. Because Flash is basically... Um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? He knows that Flash, that Zoom killed Flash's mom. And Zoom is still alive. And he's like, I don't know how you can deal with that. And he says, it's hard, but... I'm dealing, you know, I'm needed to do, to be the Flash, basically. So then he finds out that Star Labs actually has put out an open invite to anyone who's been um, struck by the lightning during um, the Speed Force storm. And Star Labs is basically testing them. Well, not testing them. They're training them. They're getting them used to their new super speed abilities. And Flash is checking it out. We get introduced to a character called Doctor. And I'm going to say that I'm going to say her name wrong. And that's why I actually have the... Name up in front of me, Dr. DeHuan, D-H-A-W-A-N. Please uh, forgive me if I've pronounced her name wrong for anybody who actually has that last name. But we get introduced to her, and apparently she was struck by the uh, Speed Force storm as well. So she's like, we're not here. We're not experimenting on these people. We're not, you know, they're not here against their will. We're trying to understand and help them. Life again because Now they've got your speed, basically. So, August decides to go off on his own for a bit to let to give Flash the time he needs with the Doctor to talk over uh, these people and their you know their ability to now tap into the Speed Force. Um, she actually has somebody that she wants the Flash to see. We get that scene with Iris and Wally. They're at the uh, crime labs, and uh, Wally, using his super speed, ends up stealing a file on Black Hole basically. And uh, Iris is there to get information about Black Hole. And Sieg just basically throws them out. But, like I said, Wally ended up yoinking the um, the file and he shows it to Iris. And now Iris wants to go find Flash to let Flash know uh, what's going on. We get introduced to a little uh, to a little girl who was struck by lightning. But now she has the problem of she's vibrating at super speed. And she can't become solid again. So, once again, Flash helps her to control her super speed. And in that moment, Flash realizes... I'm helping August. I've helped several people already. I'm helping this girl. Maybe I need to be here and I have to train these people myself. I want to be here. I want to help. I want to get everybody. You know, I want to train everybody so they can be as good as I am. I didn't have this when I became the Flash. These people have it. I'm going to help them and I'm going to lead them. It is my fault after all. And that's when we get the ending with Godspeed. Uh, I'm not going to spoil what happens at the end, but we get to see Godspeed for one page and... I don't know if August is going to make it or not after the experience of meeting Godspeed, but apparently Godspeed is a lot faster than possibly even the Flash. <clears throat> and that's where we're kind of left off. I really got to say, though, I like the artwork on the last page. The artwork, for some reason, Godspeed looks gorgeous. Uh, so I got to give props to, and I'm probably going to butcher the name, but I'm going to attempt it anyway because, you know, I can. Um, and I just missed the page right here uh carmine carmine d g dominico dominio i apologize if i said your name wrong but i really gotta say artwork shined in this book i i like the artwork in this book honestly i've heard mixed people talking about the artwork for this book but i don't mind it as much i mean yes I'm sure a lot of people miss Francis Manipal, but I, I have no mind to this, and I really like the way Godspeed is being drawn. And I'm really excited to see <clears throat> where this arc is going with Godspeed. This was a great issue. Uh, I enjoyed it. Like I said, three and a half to four out of five stars. It moved a little bit slow, but I like that in the end, Flash decides, okay, I did this. I'm taking responsibility for it, and um, I'm going to make this right. I'm going to train them all. And I just, the only concern I have, once again, is I don't want this to be something that lasts over a long period of time. Like, this is going to be 
the whole point to this volume of The Flash. I want it to be an arc. I want maybe two arcs, three arcs. And then I want to see things go back to normal. We don't need an entire Central City's worth of speedsters. I love the little joke that uh, Captain Cold put in. They showed a, a scene with the rogues. And um, he's like, I think it's time to leave Central City. Because the, re the news report is saying that tons of people have speedster powers now. So he's like, yep, yeah, I think we're done. I think we got to consider moving out of Central. I, I just, that, that scene was hilarious. So I really like this book. I would definitely recommend you guys check it out. And with that, that's it for this review, guys. As always, Comic Frontline, we are your number one source for comic-related news, reviews, and a whole bunch more. If you are not subscribed to Comic Frontline on YouTube, hopefully you'll click that sub button. It's somewhere around this video, probably on the bottom, because right now in this version of YouTube, it's on the bottom. It used to be on the top. Where it is, wherever the button is, hopefully you'll click it. We'll be in your sub box. We have videos coming out daily, and you do not want to miss out on a single video. We've got reviews. We've got live shows. We've got shows in general. We've got Media Madness. We've got comic reviews, solo and show-wise. We've got tons and tons of stuff, and it doesn't just stop at comics. There's anime. There's movies. There's TV. Everything. Whatever you like is most likely right here on Comic Frontline. Yep, mostly everything. That's right. And if you'd like to see any of our individual work, you can go check it out on the main channel page. There's a list of all of our pictures with all of our profiles. You can click it, check out our individual work. Also, don't forget to check out ComicFrontline.com. That, too, updated daily with articles, all the videos you see here on YouTube, and more. Till next time, everybody. Take care. Let me know in the comments below, what did you guys think of issue number three of Flash? I thought it was a really cool issue number three. Looking forward to the next. What do you think? Did you like the art? Didn't you? Did you like the story? Didn't you like the story? I'd love to hear from you guys. So till then, take care, keep reading, keep collecting, and I'll see you guys really soon in the next video.